Hello and welcome back to Let's Play by Mutant with me, Bring It On. We're gonna take this outpost. Yep, let the mayhem begin. Yeah, I've seen it a few times. Here's the first line of defense. Careful of that puke you imagine. I can't tell if they're wearing masks or if that's just the uh, color they're for the black with the uh, red outlined eyes. Can I shoot you? Probably not. Uh, they should start lobbing grenades at me, right? From that. So a slight change of pace. Nothing, uh... There we go. Nothing crazy. following me. Maybe some followers in this game might not be a bad idea. I mean, they already kind of have like a pseudo follower system in place. Be able to have like your own followers, maybe from each tribe or something. Customize them and stuff because you get a bunch of gear, stuff that you're not going to use. That oil still so, give me a, like a companion I can give it to instead. Proceed. I assume they're just gonna spawn infinitely. I wonder if you could get experience for each one to kill here. You could just like farm infinite experience. These guys aren't worth a ton, but I mean it's one strategy. Here's the second line of defense. Especially before they had uh, enemies to respawn. They've added respawning enemies to some areas in the game. Just your ticket. Yeah, I knew we were going to use those. Just jump on that candle and get it lit. Ride that sprocket. Oh, boom. You're in. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. All right, another successful conquest. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. 
Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Let's keep going. Squinny. Alright, let's go back to the entrance. Just to grab the shrine and see if they sell a unique mount. And then we'll continue exploring. I'll come back here off camera and clear out this place of any loot. That's all those derpy McDerps. Alright, uh, we'll go this way. Treat it fair time and the mount will return the favor. Sorry, fight you. I appreciate the experience. You hardly ever see those. Focus Timbo is too tough for Timbo. Oh, that's quite the view. <laughs> Thank you for that. This one's Bang Shelter 6L. Looks like it's still working the way it should. Seven superb loots. This is a yeah, the protective suit quest. Might be about time to go through my add-ons and see if we have any upgrades to my armor. I'll do that off camera if I remember, and then we'll uh, hopefully have better stuff next time. Dirty down here in the dirt. This must be the heat suit. A perfect fit. Oh, that's rare. All right, let's go to our outfits. Um, yeah, I think instead of the arc suit. We'll have the heat suit instead. You wear those well. Just to keep it consistent. But does the arc suit even give us any sort of resistance? I guess the oxygen resist and the uh, radiation resist. All right, a little north. This is the last twing twing to find. I'm assuming we're going to get a crushing weapon out of that. Please and thank you. No, okay. Well, I guess we're not going up that way. Good work finding a fixer upper like that. Maybe still savable. I 
metal that scrapped, all was shiny and chrome. You need to give the tensioners a matching adjustment. That sounds delicious. You're full of fun. You're right, I was. It's a lot of damage. Prime, this weapon increases your armor score by 2% for every 10 units of vitality. That's awful. You get so much armor from your outfit, or from your, yeah, your actual armor. I, I don't know, I just don't see that being a worthwhile investment. How's it compared to my current equipment, though? Let's see. Time to get crafty. Yeah, it's not even as good. I mean, it has an add-on slot, but I mean, the effect just isn't worthwhile. Also, I've been investing into my vitality, so I won't get very much out of it. These guys in the darn bushes. So much damage. That ruin looks promising. Someone lived there once. That's a handsome weapon. You need to harmonize the notes. That's for somebody to go counterclockwise in a while. Or that it would have been more efficient to go counterclockwise. Music to anyone's ear. Another crush. It's overpowered, so maybe it's as good as our uh, Terra Globus. I doubt it, but we'll see. You have all the bits you need. It has two add-ons, so it's possible we can make it better. One sixty-eight. Looking at minimum damage, 169. So we'll go with that and let's see, 185, 190. What an improvement. Anchor chance go is at 13% versus. Yeah, it's a higher crit chance. So rock destroy. this for a bit. And I guess we go down here. That's the last captive to release as well. Make a lot of headway with the quests. This feels pretty good. Like we're wrapping up a lot of the quests at this point. We just knocked out two. This will be three once we get down here. Exploring. Right where it comes. Right on. to hear that guy. Just laying waste. This was like an appropriate, like, perfectly sized fight by all the enemies that were fighting at one time. Ah, let's start with this guy. Goga. Bodzkidlo. Untlum. All right, take care of him. Last captive complete. Just experience? Okay. I guess it's mostly supposed to act as a way to get aura. So it's not gonna just give you an item. Kind of lame, but sometimes it's just how things are. Kind of lame. A 
So this area's a little bigger than I thought. Let's start back here. Make our way through one step at a time. We're all heroes of our own stories. Or so we hope. Another dumpster inside. Hopefully this is... Nope, it is not one. There's probably a way to get up here. Not that we needed to. Oh, I see a thing to climb. Let's go grab that next. Oh, weird. It's only up there. That's hard to come by. View the area. Let's see. So that car probably has some loot in it. Let's see something right below us. It's a resource totem. Nice metal scrap. You can always use that. A couple of cars to check out. Built from the finest stuff. I have a blob container, Wonder more superb what you could loot. Make with that. that made it all worth it. All right, so one more superb loot, we're all set. Look at that metal scrap over there. Just gotta figure out where it might be. I'm gonna assume it's in another dumpster. It could also be in like a car or something, or a mailbox, or a trash can, a storage container. Or right here. <laughs> Better than nothing. Fantastic. All right, let's go grab this uh, pin pricker for Maya. I saw there's a guy fishing over here in the heat zone. I do like how you find random NPCs. I just wish they had better things to say. As right now, they don't feel very rewarding to talk to. Take fast over fancy. They speak nonsense or say the same thing as everyone else, you know? This place is made for monsters. Looks like some solid wood scrap there. So this is a fluff hulk nest. Just gotta find the fluff hulk and that other resource totem. I found that at least. I do really like this the soundtrack in particular. Right next to this guy, perfect. Good to have some wood scrap like that on hand. Ouch! Thought I dodged out of the way, I did not. Oh, we just run through this. Never mind. Next 
Maybe this key will do it. Fate is funny that way, but it won't always make you laugh. That's built from great stuff. You missed nothing. All right, that's like the third time that's happened to us, where we open up something and there's just nothing inside. As much loot that this game has, that it would benefit from like a mimic monster. To find the Every now and then when you try to open something up, you just get attacked instead. To replug the cable, so each match the sequence. What do I need? A Z and an X. I need to lose a Y. Nice. That rearrangement should be enough to let enough electric current pass through the board. Six of her blues and one old world gadget. What's up, nerds? They had zero chance. So you don't usually see the yellow markers without like it's time to do something to grab right onto for certain values of right. Finding that pinpricker is going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. But here, that you actually get to climb yourself. It's not automated. Which is pretty cool. Another nice change of pace. All right, game. <laughs> okay, we can at least check outside this side see if there's any more loot like that one. Make a noise. I have such a hard time grabbing the uh, the zip lines in this game. Don't know what it is about it. Now, on paper, it shouldn't be difficult, but. Here we are. Don't forget the past. Learn from it. So it tells me it's gonna make it be the last one. That looks exactly like the pinprick Amaya was talking about. Alright, so we still need to find one more superb loot, I think. So the best place to start would probably be at the bottom and just work our way back up top. Yeah, one more. Bet you it's right here. 
we're kind of really lucky with those today. I can back and turn this in. I'm sure she has another quest for us to do. I think they usually have two. Not usually three. Kiki Koko Taosi Ula Mina Rosali Da Kupleko Hexi Wex Barusa Fuli Kano Ba Masumi Melemelo It's a Diab? Uh, that's a good use of a Diab or Dijab. Masumi Melemelo Slopse Prupa Masumi Melemelo. The Snuggy Poppet. All the way over there, okay. Well, that's a little ways out of the way. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything here. They, oh, that's for the Fluff Hulk Nest. So I guess we'll go here next. Uh, fast travel to this, I think, will be fastest. Just keep on blitzing through this. We're making good time. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending. This is the fastest route. Actually, I wonder if the gargantuan mount that we have is faster than this. I think it is. At least it felt like it was. Aren't too many streets like this left. Lots of places to poke around. Five superb loots, I think, is what it, there is. A resource totem, an old world gadget. Let's see if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's like a ledge in this this part of these areas. You need to align the knobs so that they match. This time. You need to unturn the pipe tightness to drain the flush door. the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. This might be the end of everything as we know it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, two out of five. Three out of five. Then we still have plenty to explore. Okay. Not gonna fret about it yet. But the things have been going too smoothly thus far this episode, so we'll we'll see. There's a dumpster back here as well, right? Oh it doesn't alright, so it doesn't mimic the other place like this exactly. Amazing things out of wood scrap. That resource totem is really far out of the way. <laughs> like, it's. Uh, I would think that'd be within the bounds of this area.
All right, here we go. All right, things are still going very smoothly. I guess once you figure out all the tricks, remember to look, you know, in all the dumpsters and storage containers and keep your eyes open for dirt piles, things like that, then it's not so bad. It's just remembering where items can be found. It's like you mentally don't block them out as you're exploring. Have you been up all night? So that's uh that's my weakness. I didn't see anything up there. Doesn't matter, we have all the superb loot anyway, so I'm not gonna fret about it. So that's done. Um one more uh wreck box. Take care of that, knock out that quest. Glad to see some wood scrap there. Eh? Oh, so not destroyed. Huh. Well, imagine that. You discovered a frozy brick rack. Wonder what's left inside. Tense per blue tire. So I don't know if I want to do this whole area. <laughs> this is going to take a little while. I mean, I guess it'd be a good way to wrap it up. Things have been going so smoothly for us thus far. Radical. Right, so I think this is the matching piece for the front that I like so much. At least you got something for your trouble. At least I hope it is. Alright. Let's go through this, see if we can't find all the superb loots in a timely fashion. It's probably gonna involve a lot of editing. If I'm being honest. thing isn't coming up, my mercury drop. It's okay. Came out on top anyway. Minimum wounds. Minimum trouble. Things are happening. It's not just anyone that's awake and moving. Alright, take care of this level up. Some more strength, of course. You. Keep boosting our overpowered effect. I guess, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Go ahead and grab that just because we can. Good, we found the green ATM. I was concerned about that. I thought it was going to give us some trouble. Um. Oh, they're up here. That was a good haul. Oh, okay. That's another old world gadget over here to the north. Oh, it's underground. Oh, I 
dumpster. Fantastic. Finding things both here and there. I was really hoping I'd easily find the remaining superb loots down here, but so far it's all just regular old junk. Alright, down to three. Is this the wall I can break? It's hard to tell. Oh, it is! Be on the watch for a way out. A duel. This area got really big. A ton of enemies down here too. I like how they're throwing swarms at me now though. Enemy density in games like this, I think, is super important. Like these, like, uh, big open world games where you explore and get super powerful. Like, just throw swarms of enemies at me. It's not going to be hard. I understand if it's like a, you know, engine limitation. Are you trying to make sure that everyone gets the same performance across the board? But, I mean, if you can, you know, just throw enemies at me. Now that's quality material. Does this not count as the frozy brick rack? I feel like it should. That we're a little ways away from it. I missed the mine monitor back there. All right, back through the cave, I guess. So I hope this would be part of the uh, that frozen area, but it was not. Still need to find. I don't think you could make a home here. What two superb loots, I think. So it's gotta be above ground, right? Or is it down here? No, no, maybe it is down here. Let's walk right past it. The inputters need to be linked to boot the mind monitor. It's mind over matter, software over hardware. Success is peace of mind. See, it's another one of the armor ones. I just I don't care for the uh for the armor. I don't need that. Alright, so I keep getting drawn to this truck. This makes me feel like there's gonna be superb loot around it, but I don't see it. No buildings over here either. So I think I'm gonna throw in an edit just for time efficacy's sake. Well, hold on. Stuff down here. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna be it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna throw in an edit just for the sake of saving some time and see if I can't find the last three superb loots. Plus that yeah, over there doesn't count. Do we go under here yet? 
Yeah, this is where the wrecked box is at. And yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, I'm back. And here is the wreck box. And one of the loots right here, I ran past it, what, twice? Maybe three times? The other one is in that far corner there. And the other two were actually pretty easy to find. I just had to be a little bit more thorough. I was feeling pressure for time when I was recording. So if you come up here to this fenced-in area, there's a box back here. And then there's one over here next to this car. Inside the building. Oop, there we go. Yeah, I didn't realize at first that this building was separate from the other building. Had I seen that initially, it, that would have been super easy to find. Anyway, we're going to go back and turn in this quest real fast. Uh, the record player, because that's the last part of that quest. We finished, what, five quests this episode? This is really huge. Something absurd. So let's keep that that trend going. really prefer to be on, there we go, the side of the railing. Not sure why I have two objectives here. Oh, probably once for the side quest, then once for the quest that I got for the side quest. Move the arm to make the needle fit the groove. Give it another try. So this is probably an add-on, right? Some mellow discs just cheap up to emotion you. This one hums yeah, about a, a needs discovery area, a footprint from here. All right, cool. Another quest done. Yeah, I think it's like five quests we knocked out this episode. It's pretty exciting. I guess the next one we'll explore this tunnel area. I'll start here. We'll work through there. We'll probably take this next outpost as well. We just blitz through everything here. That feels really good. Like, I probably didn't have to edit uh, for the frozy brick brack because that was not uh, that was not too bad. All right, I'm going to call it here. Next episode, we'll explore this tunnel complex and then just kind of push through. Probably just focus on the outpost and this dungeon. And then work our way west. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.